<laughs> you come along. We got the voodoo child. Here it is. New board from Lost. Ah! Hey, you guys doing that? Is that the voodoo child? Yeah. Is it new? Dude, Did it's it just new. get here? Just got here. Just got him. There's like the first ones. What? Okay. Um, uh, you can start to see all these different things we're talking about. Yeah, sure. That they're talking about. Yeah. You want to do it right here? Let's do it right here. Let's go with the one with color. Let's close this door. Private. We're private. Behind the scenes. There you go. Bannerman, key grip. This is the voodoo child. Give you a little bit of a three-dimensional view of a brand new board that Lost just came out with. They just did the release yesterday, so everybody's just frothing out because when Mason Ho has his own pro model, you know that the thing's going to be a, a good board. Uh, a lot of the things they're talking about in the write-up, you really can't see just looking at a picture of the board. So we'll give you a little bit of three-dimensional look. The first one, potentially the most controversial, is the beak. And there's just a slight beak. When you look right here where my thumb is, you can see the knuckle of the beak. It's right there. It's just ever so slight. So what that does is you can carry the volume all the way to the nose of the board. And so it makes this part of the board less likely to just snap off if it's paper thin. Also just gives it a tiny little bit of an old school look. But they've definitely, since the early prototypes, they've definitely kind of thinned this beak out. So there is there is a beak and you can notice it, but just it's not this like giant knuckle they used to see in the older beak boards. The next thing is uh, is the tail, and this is another thing you're not ever really going to see um, from looking at a photo straight on is that it has like a lot of that kind of magic board feel shaped into the deck of the board. They call it actually a double concave deck. So rather than double concave bottom, which would be on the bottom. You've got uh, the stringer line right here, and then they actually shape a little bit of foam out here and here where your heels would be. So you actually have, it's almost like when you have that board that you love and the deck gets all mashed in and you get a little bit more grip on the deck by having the heels be, and heels and the toes pushed down. You look in there, it's a little bit harder to see in this colored board, but it actually S's like that, or some people call it an S deck like that. It'll just be boom, boom like that and they have foam shaped out right there. The other thing is just in the amount of volume that the tail rail has, so the rail and the tail of the board, because of that scooping out, uh, and then also they're trying to make the board lower volume in the rails, specifically in the tail of the board, so it'll knife in better, uh, rather than having like a big boxy rail on the back of the board, since they're already shaving that area out, they also bring it down a little bit and take some of that area out of the tail right here. Um, the next thing to talk about is just the, is the rocker line of the board, pretty flat entry rocker in the front of the board, and then going to a little bit of a tail kick out the back of the board. So there is a little bit of flip out the tail. Uh, the board is, has a little bit of a hip as well. So right here, when you're looking at the board, like you can get to it actually probably easier by flipping around in the light. And you look right about here, it drops off. So you got a little bit more width up front and then that hip. And that does two things. It gives you a, a pivot point when you're turning off the rail. If you have like a lot of outline curve right in that one spot, it'll want to hook right off of that rail curve. And then also it brings the tail in a little bit to make it a little bit more manageable in, uh, in better ways. You could ride this board in anything, small ways up to, up to better ways. but. In better ways, having a little bit less tail area is going to help as well. So it's the Voodoo Child, the brand new board from Lost Mason Hope Pro Model just came out. A little 360 degree preview.